In this temple in southern India, thousands of devotees are preparing to make a rather unusual offering. Some of them have waited years for this moment, growing their hair before giving it to the gods. It is a sacred ritual for millions of Hindus. My daughter was really sick. I vowed to donate my hair if she recovered. Do you know what will happen to your hair? No, I do not know, but it will be offered to the gods, and that's all that matters to me. Every Saturday, thousands of pilgrims come to the Dwarka Tirumala temple to be shaved by one of the 95 barbers that work here. The pilgrims leave behind kilos of hair. The temple has turned the pilgrims' offerings into an incredibly lucrative business. Once cut, the hair is collected and then stored by the temple. It is then exported around the world to be used in wigs and hair extensions. I don't know exactly what happens to the hair. The leaders of the temple take it and they sell it. For how much? Well, I know the temple makes about a million dollars per year. After it's collected at the temple, the hair is then transported to Ravindra Vanka's factory. Mix the hair and separate the dark strands. Every year, hundreds of tons of hair from several temples is treated here by the factory's 3,000 workers. The hair is washed, dried and then sorted. The factory stocks hair of every kind, color and form. For Ravindra Vanka, his products are a source of pride. You see? My God! <laughs> He's unbelievable! How many inches is this? Yeah, it's 46. 46! Yeah. Wow! <laughs> I can't believe it! I've been working in this business for seven years. But this is the first time I've touched hair this long, more than a meter long. The price is $100 to $700 per kilo. It's depend upon the length and what kind of the process. Bleaching, dyeing, blonde color. The blonde color more expensive. The factory attracts buyers from around the world and a growing number of clients are from China. Okay. Every year uh, almost a 10 percent increase. Why so much increase? Well because more and more ladies they want to look younger, they want to look beautiful, so they, they need our products. <laughs> they love our products. <laughs> the Chinese alone buy nearly a thousand tons of hair from this factory. A business that just keeps on growing, much like the hair that sustains it.